Okay, guys, I'm, I'm pretty burned out. I got to speak up. I know someone said I have to speak up. This is that construction joint I referred to by the pool. So if we go to the pool image, that person is no longer there. If we go to the pool image, um, the one I have here, okay, so it's there. If we go to this pool image, you see that recess? So that construction joint, to uh, locate them, out throughout the building. I'm pretty exhausted right now. I'm going to tap out, but you see the way they do their construction joint. It's it's got looks like it has a add number four by four by twenty four inch. Um, I would say on center OC that the O doesn't looks like a CC, but it looks like OC. We don't see any of that. We also see the rebar reinforcement looks more midline inside that control joint, the construction joint. Construction joint we see here has no steel inside of it at all. I'm tired, but I'll tell you where I'm going with this. Um, 39, right? I think I'm going to 39. Uh, I need the elevations. The elevations of the, the uh, first floor and the pool deck are different. Now, that should create a shear plane where the deck can collapse and not take out the building. The issue I have is that we already know, and there's some dovetail joinery, we already know that, uh, parapet, let's see if I can find the, uh, the comments here. I want to show you, great, I haven't responded to, I have to change this, that I, I responded to, uh, publish, okay, help a review, let me try that. So. Um, yeah, pick up the building magnet. All right, that's not quite a joke, but okay. Um, where's my man at? There, there's a link here. I think it's by here. This this person here. Uh, nice. You know, read his, you guys can read his comment. Obviously, it'll be out in the public in a second. I just want to click on his link though. Surgical assist, surgical surgical physician's assistant. Uh, they said that we use the same words, actions, motion, etc. I think if I come over here to his linked video, we get to, I'm going to scrub it a bit. All right, let's listen to. Well, according to state records, Champlain Tower South has had five different condo presidents and vice presidents in the past five years all right so the listen, record showed so listen to what is Nodkin was the treasurer on the board from 2014 to 2019 the, the source says Notkin had had it quote the last board she said I'm finished I cannot fight they don't hear me they don't listen to me enough is enough this is the end of it so he's he's using her words and taking them out of uh, context He's taking it and put it in context of this collapse. Listen. They made her life miserable. There was fighting constantly. And according to this email, Notkin herself addressed the board. In 2019, when she had an issue, she wrote to fellow board members, quote, Doesn't it bother you to see this building, what it has become? The All right. We're talking about the collapse, right? Now, let's back this up. Look at her. I am flabbergasted that none of you has done anything about the amount of sand that the truck's coming and going to the beach leave on our sidewalk. People walk to the beach and they bring the sand with them. It comes in the bicycles, it comes in the tires of our cars when they come home, come back through the garage, and when they walk their dogs. Not herself address the board. And so when they walk their dogs, is everywhere. This is getting dis this is getting disgusted. Disgusted. I guess she means this is getting disgusting. Who is the person on the board that has the contract with the city of Surfside to have them clean that in the morning and at night? When she had an issue, she wrote to fellow board members, quote, doesn't it bother you to see... She's talking about the damn sand, but now he's reflecting on this collapsed structure and taking her words there. This, this is the type of news reporting we get. You know, it, it's, it's nasty.
you know, you got to be able to do a correction. And that, that no, no corrections available. These quotes snatched out of there, they now lose their, their credibility because of that. Helped write the rule says maintenance should have been ongoing. How's your building? So I wanted to give that to you. That's the second time I crossed this guy and, and, and attacked him like that. So that's that's my bias now. He's now on my bias list for number two. You know, so but so let's kill that and let's go to back to the drawings. What I'm gonna try to figure out here is can we get the deck collapsing, punch here and all, without taking down the columns of the structure. Oh that's what it was. Um someone else had a link here. Hopefully I Eight minutes ago. No, it was, it was before that. Um, oh, let's address this already then. Uh, two days before condo collapse, a pool contractor photographed this damage. All right, well, photograph the damage. First off, this looks like efflorescence, which was uh, your waters coming to your paste and all that, and the salts develop. Well, that would be everywhere, wouldn't it? If this was soaked, there's electric down here. Do you see the pump? Saturated in water, you, you, you see the pump lower down here? No, I don't see that. So, so much for that water backing up in here and staying in there. But he's talking about the reinforcement up here. Um, that's photographed. Clearly, he's just photographing his systems. He wasn't photographing that ceiling in particular. Um, and it's a pool. So the pool's got some deteriorating rebar right here. Um, for what reason? I don't. I don't know. Maybe you see a salt air inside this room. That that that's uh that's if it's a salted pool, could be a damp um, uh, you know the chlorines etc. So I want to say uh, so I address that little beast now. So that beast is done. All right. There's one more video. Uh, where'd you go? Um. I'm not going to sink into the earth thing. All right, I pass on sinking into the earth. If they want it with sinking in the earth, well, they do, and I, I've got a, you know, that's not that's not my story. Okay, it would flood, and go on for years. Well, water's going to go into a basement too. Looks like uh, it shows that everything is normal. Um, the central section falling apart. I'm trying to find this underground garage image somebody had a video of 114. I don't think this is it, but um, yeah, um, yeah, that's just the video. I would press it real quick if I could and accept it, but I'm about to read these comments. The uh, so what I have here is I'm going to play with trying to show the uh, ramp down to basement profile. So there's your elevations, your ramp. I, I'm going to try to get there to see that the columns, etc., that you can separate the deck from the main structure, that the floor of the deck, I'm exhausted here, guys. The heat got me. The floor of the deck is not the same elevation as the floor on the first floor. So we should be able to get a theoretical shearing of the deck off of the building without it uh, entering. So lobby floor is 13.4. That's the lobby floor. All right. Lobby floor is 13.4. That's what Verit confirms up here. If I can get the elevations right. If I didn't mess up, went too far. It might have been 30 not. It might have been the other way. 13. Okay, now. So here it is. Here's the pool deck. 11.10. Oh, that's what I want to show you. Find that damn pool deck and you'll see that it it bevels and tapers down. It's 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 not just eleven ten is not here. Top of this this uh, top of deck is not eleven ten. It's you know it might be um, twelve three. It's it's got a significant pitch back to this way. The uh, over here we're at twelve nine. When we step into the lobby, this is the room, the elevation is 13.4. So there we are. We're at 13.4 in here. So we got a 5 inch. Incorrect. Incorrect. Exhausted. 8 inch elevation and concrete here below this one. 
How is that connection? How is that connection to here? If the deck is trailing first, I want to know well, what beam is over here. I need that I need the torque and cause it to uh, cause an issue using the deck as our action. Using our deck as our action, the deck failing. What beam does it need a torque over here to cause the uh, as it ties into the beam? You don't believe? I'm going to, have to look into that. What beam or what column? How does it tie in? And you know if it's tied into the columns, the way this thing is just stripping down, that that's not really going to probably, I, we probably won't be our action by the time you get to that pile, you're probably going to see that, that it's a beam that's been ripped off when you get to the garage level. I wish they can get down there now through this direction. I wish they would go through the garage level to try to see it, to try to find it. But I'm going to guess that one of these beams, were, 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 when this deck went down, tore at this structure and maybe pulled it forward out of line a bit, you know, wobbled it, giving the earthquake effect. But the problem we also have with that is that the puncture happens at the proximity of the the proximity of these things together at this span. So what I'm gonna work on is the span here between column to column. As we get closer to the building, the puncture would be less because look how close these columns appear to be. Am I in the building already? Yeah, I'm in the building. Sorry. And backing up a bit, my eyes are flooring over about now. They really are. So we have our next connection from this column is what I'm driving at to here, to the beam here. So when this punctures up, punctures off, falls down, if it's connected, I need to find it, the connection to this beam, the outer rim board, if you will. Think of it as rim board, a deck board. Just think of it as a deck board, and the cars go on underneath of it here. If I'm getting this wrong, forgive me this time. It's, uh, you know, I really am glazed over right about now. So here's your ramp down. And so this deck falling, I needed to get an action over here where it's going to not only puncture around, we needed to drop down, so it's probably going to puncture, puncture around these columns. But then since it's not connected to a column, of, well, the column's connected to the beam, but it's, it's probably driven into the side beams here. It probably caused one of those to rotate, and we get this rocket and rumbling and and the whole earthquake thing. And that would be maybe this whole section here. And as it falls down, maybe this one, this might be my M. Yep, I'm off by way off. So it's way over here. So this deck, I'd like to see this deck failure going way over to there then. Or did, did it pull these down and then pull M over? Yep. That still would have uh, dropped that section a lot great, lot faster, I think. Hmm. Big deep thought here. I, I just fast forwarded to another thought that it acts like a big giant. Oh gosh, truss plate, the front wall wood with the interacting beams. How would it transfer over? I got to work on that. But so far, I've got the deck tearing at the. Well, I'm going to say rim board. All right, it's the it's the beam that supports the the outer wall there. So it's supporting this outer wall here, but it's down here low. And I'm just thinking of it as a rim board because the deck is attached to it. How about that to help you think of it that way? All right, hanging up, exhausted, whacked. Oh, please hit the thumbs button and subscribe if you can put up my sense of humor and content. Thanks. Oh, and please comment. Algorithms need comments, it turns out.